All right, another optimization problem. I uh, have quite a few of them for you to look at. Uh, you'll, you can search my channel or you can find them in the derivatives playlist. Uh, so here we have a box with a square, now well, that should say a square base, an open top. It must have a volume of 32,000 cubic centimeters. Find the dimensions of the box that minimize the amount of materials used. Alright, so let's draw our box here. Alright, so <clears throat> we have a square base. Remember, that should say base. And so we'll lay, we'll call the base x and x. I know they're the same because it's square. And then we have the height. And it tells me the volume needs to be 32,000. Alright, so that tells me that 32,000 is equal to x times x times h. That's the volume of a box. Okay, so x times x is x squared times the height, h. Alright, so that's some information that they gave us. Now, what do they want us to, in this case, minimize? They want us to minimize the materials used. So they want us to minimize the surface area. Okay, so let's get a function for the surface area. So that's just the area of each face added together. So I've got the area of the bottom here, which is x times x. So that's x squared. And then I need the surface area of this side, this side, the front, and then the back. Well, the area of this is x times h, right? Alright, so let's look at that, x times h. Well, you see this height here? That's h. This is x. So that area is x times h. So I've got two of them. And then let's look at the front. Well, this is x. This is h. So this area is x times h. And then the same thing with the back. That's x back there and this is H. So actually I've got four of them. So that's going to be 4XH. <clears throat> now we need to take the derivative of this, set it equal to zero. Well, but before we do that I want to get everything in terms of one variable. So let's get everything in terms of X. So We'll solve this over here for h. So you can see here, I know that h is 32,000 over x squared. So I'll plug this in for h. So I get s is x squared plus 4x times 32,000 over x squared. So that's going to give me the surface area is x squared plus, and then let's see, that's going to be 128,000 over x, the 4 times 32,000, and then this x and this x cancel. All right, so now I need to do what? Take the derivative. So the derivative is... 2x minus 128,000 over x squared. Now remember when we take the derivative of this, let's just look real quick over here to the side, 128, and that would be x to the negative 1, right? Move that up, so that's negative 128, 128,000. Subtract 1, negative 2, move that back down to the denominator. 
Okay, and that's where this comes from. All right, so now let's set this equal to zero. So that's 2x minus 128,000 over x squared equals zero. So that gives me 2x equals 128,000 over x squared. And so that gets moved up. I get that's x cubed equals. And then when this moves across the two, that goes to the denominator. And so it would be 128,000 divided by 2, which that would give me 64,000. And so I get x is the cube root of this, right? x is the cube root. So that actually comes out to 40 centimeters. So that's x. Okay, and what do they want to know? Yeah, they want to know the dimensions of the box. So the dimensions of the box, well, there's x, and now we need the height, h. Well, here's h. So h is equal to 32,000 over 40 squared. So h comes out to be 20 centimeters. So the dimensions is 40 by 40 by 20. Okay. So I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.